Well, what's going on folks? This is a out of the theater car review for Oppenheimer. Holy shit. That movie was fucking excellent. So Oppenheimer is, is it biopic or biopic? I'm gonna go biopic. Biographical picture, movie, picture, whatever. Biopic. Oppenheimer is a biopic by Christopher Nolan. I think he wrote and did the screenplay and directed, obviously. Not sure. But it's a Christopher Nolan movie. That's clear. It is... J. Oppen, J. Robert Oppenheimer was the project leader of the Manhattan Project. The architects of the first atomic bomb. The one that was used twice. The one they made two copies of and used twice on Hiroshima and Nagasaki ending World War II. The movie isn't really about the bomb. It's about Oppenheimer himself. I mean, it's about the bomb, but it's about Oppenheimer himself, mostly. I'm not an expert movie reviewer. I can't really tell you if it's well-directed. I don't know what makes something well-directed. I can tell when something is terribly acted. There was no terrible act acting in this. I can tell you... I can tell you how I feel about it. I don't know if that makes it good direction or good screenplay. I don't know if that makes it a good cinematography. I don't know about those filmmaking details. I'll tell you what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, because it wasn't perfect. But it was fucking excellent. Let's start with the... I'm not going to say bad, but I'm going to say less than ideal. Um... It was definitely dialogue heavy. Not that that's a bad thing, but because so many names were used, so many, unless you catch and set to long-term memory each name as you're shown in the movie, you're going to miss some key elements. You're going to miss who somebody's talking about at a certain time and maybe not get the full picture because there's so many names thrown at you. The cast is huge, full of stars. Um, how they did this for a hundred million dollars, I don't know, but maybe they need to take, they need, Hollywood needs to take a lesson from Christopher Nolan because they're spending a fuck ton of money on a bunch of shit, a bunch of shit, including mostly Disney stuff. Sorry if I'm getting a little spicy. I don't care. I'm done being nice. Not that I was ever really a nice reviewer because this is like one of my first times doing this. But anyway. One issue was the dialogue and the fact that you need to catch all the names right away or else you'll miss some stuff later on, but you catch on to the to the key players. And it's, and it's mostly fine. Um, there were times where it was hard to hear the dialogue. I hear that's sound editing and I hear that Christopher Nolan has an issue sound editing sometimes. But I didn't notice it enough to make having a real complaint. This is like a minor complaint for me. Uh, the, the, it was not a linear story at all. There was no linearity to the story. Um, there were visual devices to let you know when you're in a certain time frame, like black and white and color. Um, but it still was a little confusing where you were, when you were at certain times, unless you catch every tiny bit of dialogue and then you'll know, but since the dialogue was a little hard to follow, it was a little hard to follow what time frame you're in. I won't get into any spoilers here. I don't think you need to be spoilery in this movie, in this uh, movie review for this. I don't think it, there needs to be spoilers. I don't think this is a, a movie that you need to do a spoiler review for. So the non-linear storytelling was a little bit of a problem. Not huge. I got the gist. It was fine. But it could have been a little less back and forth a little bit for me. But that's just me. I have no means... I'm by no means am telling Christopher Nolan how to direct his movie. I don't know. It's... Who cares? Who cares what I think? 
the good stuff, you have to watch this in IMAX. You have to watch this in IMAX. This is the first movie I saw in IMAX, and I was blown away, pun intended and not intended, both, I don't care if that's grammatically correct, I was blown away by this movie. And the sound the sound was crazy in your face, even if the, everybody knows there's an atomic bomb explosion in this movie, apparently. Um, they actually set off a real atomic bomb to get this practical footage. They didn't, apparently he didn't use any CGI in this movie at all, which is remarkable because there's a lot of scenes and shots that seem to be that they must be practical, must be uh, digital effects, but especially the, not really a spoiler, I'm not going to tell you about it, especially the very, very, very last scene before the credits. It's like, how could that not be special? How could that not be visual effects, like computer generated visual effects. If it was eligible for an Oscar, they would probably get an Oscar for visual effects because of a practical visual effects. I'll get into the Oscar part later. I have to see it in IMAX. IMAX blew me away. Not even the scenes with the actual atomic bomb explosion. That was... <laughs> um... There were other scenes where the sound and the feel of the of the bass were just as effective as the big explosion scene. So, I guess the sound design in that way was pretty damn good. Um, let's talk about uh, Oscars. This movie deserves Oscars for acting on many different for many different people. I, I could probably think of five right now. Um, Cillian Murphy. Cillian Murphy? That's his name, right? Played Oppenheimer. Oscar. Um, Robert Downey Jr. Played Strauss? 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 Best Supporting Actor. Um, Emily Blunt. Best Supporting Actress. And there's so many other supporting... I think you could fill up the category of supporting actors in from this movie. Um, but it's not going to qualify for any Oscars. Cinematography? Probably. I'm not an expert cinematographer. I don't know what's good or what isn't, but it looked impressive to me. Directing? Seemed like it was amazing, especially certain scenes. Freaking fantastic. Um... I would have to get into details. I don't necessarily want to get details. I mean, it's not describe a scene it would be kind of spoilery, but I don't want to ruin it. So I'll leave it at that. Some directing in some scenes is fantastic. And I was blown away. Um, so if that means directing is the cause or the good directing is the cause of that impressiveness, then a good directing. Um, and I haven't seen a ton of movies this year. Best thing I've seen all year, though. I liked Mario. Not Best Picture. I kind of like Fast and Furious. Definitely not Best Picture. I like Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Not Best Picture. Oppenheimer. Absolutely. One of the best movies I've seen in a long time. It is the best movie I've seen in a long time to define one of, for a certain time frame, I have to really think about it, and that's in, our, in this, uh, this uh, review would get too long. So, Oscar worthy, for sure. In my mind, in the minds of an average person, in the mind of a reasonable person who has, who used to like watching the Oscars, it is Oscar worthy on many, many levels. But it doesn't qualify for an Oscar. It doesn't qualify for an Oscar because there's not enough diversity, equity, and inclusion. There wasn't any gay people, which makes sense for the story. There was, I remember seeing like one or two black people who were um, more background characters, but everybody involved in the government, which was heavily featured in this, and all the scientists, they were probably all white people. Or, um, uh, white, white, or what do you call it? White adjacent, I guess. Um, 
specifically Americans, Germans. There were um, maybe Russians. Definitely uh, Jewish people featured, characters, Jewish characters featured. But it was not what the left would call a diverse cast. And because the Oscars have this new rule, you have to have a diverse cast. You have to have a certain LGBTQ, IA, ABC plus um, representation. You're not allowed to be qual qualified for an Oscars unless you are basically woke or woke adjacent, which is a bunch of bullshit because this movie deserves all the Oscars. Holy shit. This movie was excellent. Oppenheimer, nine, nine out of ten. It only loses a point because maybe it's my fault. Maybe I don't, I don't give it that point because of something on my side. I didn't follow every every little bit from the start, so I had to play a little catch up as I went along. And yeah, that's my review. Hollywood in general is bullshit. Christopher Nolan is kind of, uh, he doesn't care, and that's what makes him, one of the things that makes him good. He doesn't care about the woke bullshit. And I liked it a lot. It was explosive. Do I call it fun? I don't know. I haven't talked about the science. I love the science in it, too. I like to think of myself as a man of science. I like science. But I understood a little bit of the physics, but not nearly enough to... Get, probably get the most out of it but I was able to follow it I was able to maybe a little bit more than the average person just because I like physics but I don't nearly have enough knowledge to tell you if the physics was accurate or not but I like the science involved with it anyway overall um, I'm sitting here in a hot car in Florida because my air conditioning would mess up the audio so I am going to call it here because I'm probably sweating and looking all shiny and flushed by now yep a little bit I'll see you, maybe if this uh, video takes off a little bit, maybe I'll do some more movie reviews if I care enough about a movie. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Help me get to that 1,000 subscribers so I can get monetized. I think I've got the back end kind of ready to go. As soon as I hit that 1,000, I can make some money. So, please like and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time I see a movie. If I want to hurt my mental stability, maybe I'll go watch Barbie, but it might make for a fun, fun uh, review. I don't know if I want to put myself through that, though. I heard it's super, super man-hating feminist. I don't know if I want to do that. Hey, comment down below. Should I watch Barbie and should I review Barbie? I already know I'll probably rip it apart. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.